griffin is uh, a mythological creature that was typically used to guard something precious, like treasure or whatever, and it was a combination of other different animals. So we've taken the best parts of other aircraft and combined it into our own MH-60 Romeo, and we use it to guard something equally precious, the carrier strike group. So we have two primary missions. Uh, our first primary mission is uh, anti-submarine warfare, and our second is surface warfare. Uh, Anti-submarine warfare is to protect the carrier strike group from potentially hostile submarines and surface warfare is to provide the carrier with uh, that big picture situational awareness. So if something gets close to the strike group, they need to be ID'd, they need to be tracked. Uh, that's what we do. We provide all of that information to the uh, Combat Operations Center. Uh, some of the secondary missions uh, would include search and rescue, could include humanitarian relief, general helicopter operations. Uh, so typically we'll fly with a crew of three. There are two pilots up front, one is acting as the helicopter aircraft commander and the other is acting as the, uh, the pilot. Uh, I sit in the back as the third member of the crew, the sensor operator. I run the, the eyes and ears of the MH-60 Romeo. This job has its boring days just like anything else. We'll fly out uh, to do an open water search and discover that there's nothing out there but water. But then again, it also has its days where there's a little bit too much going on. <laughs> this job requires a lot of a lot of training, a lot of study time, a lot of pre-mission prep. So usually when you're not on the flight schedule for a day, it means that you are being given that day to prepare for a big event of some kind. So when we're not flying, we are getting ready to fly. Pride is what it takes to be a Griffin. You have to be proud of the job you're doing. Uh, the job is not always, you know, sexy like uh, like the fighter pilots doing their thing uh, or like the the starboard Delta Sierras. But it's a really important job to the strike group, and we have to give it 110 percent. The USS Abraham Lincoln and uh, Carrier Strike Group 12 would be uh, nearsighted without the Griffins and uh, far more susceptible to torpedo attack. So this is a stand-up squadron. Uh, we stood up in June just a few short years ago and this is our actual first deployment together you know, as a squadron. I'm looking forward to seeing how well we're going to perform.